Hello, it's Brent Share Leverage Lane, and today is Monday, which means it's Macro Monday. And I can't think of a better way to start out your week than being more efficient and effective on your computer. And the best way to do that is use our latest macro. What kind of macro are we dropping this morning? Let me show you. All right, this is the macro we're dropping this morning. This is a word macro, word create outlook email with selected text. Have you ever been prompted to send a follow-up email when working in Word? Maybe you're reviewing a meeting agenda or reviewing a final draft of a new company policy. You could navigate to Outlook, create a new email and copy and paste the necessary text in, but this takes a bit of time and isn't very efficient. Instead, try using our new macro, create outlook email with selected text. This Word macro will generate an Outlook email directly out of Word, pulling in any text you have selected into the email body. You can simply select the text and run this macro. The Outlook email will appear, and you'll also notice the email subject populated by default with the phrase follow up in brackets and then the active document's name. You can also easily pull in to and CC recipients if you routinely email the same people. This macro is a way better way to follow up on emails to help get a quicker response. No longer do you have to write things on post-it notes and easily forget things to follow up on. All right, if you've yet to see this macro in action, check out our See It In Action video here. And then just moving down, here is the code for this macro. Before I jump into the code, I do wanna show you this first time using VBA section here. There are three quick and easy steps you have to take before you can start using this macro. You have to activate the developer tab, update your macro security, and set up references for leveraging lean macros. The good news is this takes no time at all. I can get all these steps done in under a minute. Let me show you by navigating to Word. You can head up to the customized quick access toolbar, head over two more commands, and then within the Word options, click Customize Ribbon. And then over on this main tab section, scroll down if you have to, but you'll see the developer tab is unchecked. Go ahead and check mark that. You'll then have the developer tab available to select. Within the developer tab, head over to macro security. And then within macro security, change from disabled all macros without notification to enabling all of them. Even though this is not recommended because potentially dangerous code could run, I'm going to show you each line of code. You're going to know everything that happens with this macro. There's going to be no surprises. Okay, now you can open Visual Basic just to make sure our references are set up correctly for this macro. Once in Visual Basic, head up to Tools and select References. And by default, these should be the only two references selected. And by default, these should be the only two references that are selected. And the good news is these are the only two that you need to run this macro. All right, while we're in Visual Basic, let's go ahead and create a module. By using this black drop down arrow, select module, and then within module one, we're going to paste in this VBA code. To select this code, go ahead and double click in between the code numbers and the physical code itself. To select all of this code, you can control C to copy, and then navigate back into Visual Basic to paste all of this in. And there you go. All right, let me show you what happens when we run this macro. I'll go ahead and select some text in Word and then we'll walk through this step by step just by using F8 in Visual Basic. We'll bail out if there is an error. Now this is where we're going to create a new session of Outlook. I already have Outlook open. You can run this macro even when Outlook is closed. It just may take a minute to evaluate and generate the email, but with it open, it goes a lot quicker. Now this is where we're setting the fields in the new email. You can just put in emails and then separate them with a semicolon if you want to add in multiple emails. You can do that for the two and CC fields. If you want to do blind CCs, you can add another row of code here, but I just wanted to show you these two fields here. This is where we're setting the subject. By default, it is follow up with the brackets and then pulling in the full document name with the file extension. This is when we're adding in the body of the email just with the selected text that we have here and then we're going to display that email. And there you go, there's the generated email that just came up based on the text that we have selected. Really cool if you are doing a lot of work in Word and trying to follow up and keep things moving. Maybe you have the questions of how certain things were used, 
Maybe you are using Word for meeting agendas and you're just kind of keeping action items moving. Now let me show you something I also really like to do with my macros and create a custom button to run this macro. Navigating back into Word, let's go ahead and we're going to put a custom button in between the clipboard and font group here. Let's go ahead and go back into Customize Quick Access Toolbar, head over two more commands, and then within the Word options, let's select Customize Ribbon, and we're going to put a custom group in between the clipboard and font group. So with the clipboard group selected, let's create a new custom group. And what I like to do is I like to blank out the name for this. You can enter a group name of your liking. And then with that custom group selected, drop down popular commands, head over to macros, and then we're going to select the only macro in Visual Basic for this word module. And let's clean up the name. There you can see I removed some of that project and module language much nicer and then you can select an icon that you would like I like to use this open email icon and then you can click OK and now you'll see that new custom button created in Word to run this macro you can simply just select any text you want and generate another email pretty straightforward let me show you anything I have in the customized section here just to make sure we've gone over everything for this macro Again, if you want to enter in recipients, you can do that in the two and CC fields in code lines 13 and 14. If you want to update the email subject that's displaying by default, you can update code line 15. And finally, the email body pulling in. I just have the selected text pulling in, but you can add additional text if you want here as well. All right. Well, that's all I have for this new macro, Word Create Outlook email with selected text. I absolutely want to know what you think of this one. Let me know how you think you're going to use this in your day-to-day -day processes. Thanks so much for watching. Stay awesome. Thank you so much for taking time to view this video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to start using the macro we've seen in the video, I have a link in the description. If you could do me another big favor, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay updated on any new videos that I'm posting. Like us, follow us on all of our other social media channels, and as always, stay awesome.